Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson, and again, I want to share with you a video on adding embellishments, handmade embellishments, to your mixed media pieces. This particular video is going to talk specifically about pounding out the metal embellishments that you can add to your pieces of artwork. They're aluminum, there's several thicknesses, and they add such an interest. You see one at the bottom there in the black, it's a spiral, and then you see one at the top. Then in this next piece, you'll see one uh, kind of like a copper one. So thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get to the actual work itself. Now, uh, this is wires that can be used in jewelry, um, it can be used in your mixed media, it can be used in so many things. I mean, I have, I could go off in a whole nother world using these wires. They're just absolutely beautiful. And what I have to kind of just go over the different um, things I have here, I have a 12 gauge, which is a thicker. I have a 16 gauge which is not as thick and then I have here this is a 18 gauge so um, I'm going to show you the three and how I use them but you can imagine how beautiful this is going to show up on a on a piece of artwork so let me get into it now also what I have here is it is called a steel bench block and a brass hammer basically I just went on Amazon and uh, got like a jewelry's a hammer and block and they comes with a pair of pliers so you take the the wire and this is the 12 gauge so the smaller the number the thicker it is it, to me it's counterintuitive but that's the way it is so you take your piece of wire and again I love um, unusual shapes. I love circles. I love spirals. So I do a lot of these in my art. You'll see these in, in my um, just regular paintings. But these scissors are very sharp so you can take something else to get it started. But you can just do a twist to get your your wire going. And then you just the rest of the way I just use my fingers to twist this wire. Now the reason why I don't put it on the um, canvas or the paper or in my art like this is because it's thick and it is easier to put it on and I think it's more attractive when it's flatter. Be careful so you don't smash your fingers. Smash it down. Flatten down. Almost got my finger. You can do that more or you can leave that so you have some some of the indents there. So there's one. There's the 12 gauge. Now I'm going to do the 16 gauge and this is copper. It's actually aluminum but it's copper in color. And I always put the links below to where I get these. I get a lot of my stuff on Amazon. You can get stuff at Michaels and things like that. I do a lot of shopping on Amazon simply because it's it's easier for me to get my stuff and um, I don't tend to impulse buy. If I go to Michael's, I'm in a candy store and I see beautiful things and I will sometimes just indulge and buy things I don't need. Well, I guess I will always use it in something. but. This one I'm just going to kind of do very random, kind of going all over the place. Now this is softer. 
size of the thing, this out, it's much easier. Now, I've dulled it out. Well, it's flat and it's dulled out a little bit, but it's still beautiful. I mean, you can, you know, that looks like an S, but you can make initials out of that. Now, here is the softest of the three. So, this was um, 12, 16, 18 gauge. Now, let's just kind of really have this. Wild. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make a wider opening at the top because I make a lot of stone-like um, pieces with um, plaster of Paris and caulking and that's in a separate demo. So I'm going to have this in a way that I can just set a stone right down in that spot right there. three pieces I did out of the three different um, gauges I guess they call it of the wire and I used again this is called a uh, steel bench block and a brass hammer set and of course the pliers you can get bigger ones this is just a smaller one it's very heavy with your hammer and um, it just makes beautiful uh, pieces that you can put in your mixed media and let me grab one of the stones this is a larger stone of course I can have one much smaller but you can imagine this on the smaller bases just put down um, in here um, I mean the the it's endless amount of ideas that you can come up with using these pieces of wire and I just love them I think they're just absolutely beautiful so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you watch the other videos I'm doing them all separate so you can grab and cherry pick the demos that are going to be the most helpful to you in putting together your art thank you for watching